Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, Hi everybody. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Good. Fantastic. Yeah, what about you guys? Good, very good, very good. Brilliant. Today, I'd like to welcome Jolene. Um, let's yeah. join in our this podcast and hopefully for the forthcoming podcast in the future every week. So, uh, welcome to the family, Jolene. Thank you, Sir Head. It's a pleasure. Brilliant. Looking so, forward to what we speak now. Definitely, definitely. So, today's topic is um, a very common topic that is um, that has been taking its place within the creative community and um, is called um, writer's block. Um, in my opinion, I'm going to start with my very own opinion on it. Do it. Um, it exactly. You know. What it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, in my opinion, my um, honest opinion is that um, writer's block. It could be named as a myth. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why I'm saying it is because I have been a creative person for the last twenty years of my life, and. Um, Obviously, in the in the in the past, I had suffered from it because I believed in its reality so badly. I thought, oh, you know, shit, man, what am I going to do? I can't. I, I just can't come up with anything. But in time, I carried on um, practicing and progressing. In time, I come up with solutions. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the main reason why, in my opinion, it's a myth. But before I go into my um, methods or how I overcame. Um, on my writer's block. I would like to ask each and every single one of you to see what you think about it. Um, let's kick it off with Jolene. Jolene, what do you think about writer's block? What is your opinion, what is your opinion on that? Um, first, I want to know what others are thinking because I just want to be safe. I know. It's <laughs> okay. Weird, but... <laughs> no problem. Ethan? Um, my understanding of writer's block, yeah, uh, just it would be a... Uh, a state of mind wouldn't it it's it's a space and time you're at where you can't express yourself creatively there's something that's holding you back and you said Surat, that you did you went through some some different um areas to enhance or change the way you feel about your writer's block uh -huh. so my question would be and i would imagine because i haven't really suffered from writer's block I, i'm normally just drumming i don't really you know drumming block doesn't really exist but um my idea of getting around something like writer's block would probably be the likes of your discipline and your routine and perhaps allocating certain times of the day for writing you know things like that okay well i yeah. see that what about you sky um this is something i mean it's a massive massive topic that i've always spoken to my clients about um songwriters especially um, but also of course producers um but I've always said that writer's block initially comes from the pressure of writing a great song yeah that's it it all comes under that because if you take away the fact that you want a successful song one that's gonna you know make or break your your career it's you know it's, it's something just fun and just organic and that's how it should be and that's why so many songwriters start writing in the first place um I mean it's it's stressful though because I mean you write for that reason but the overwhelming stress of well this song isn't good enough or keep comparing it to another co-writer that is doing maybe slightly better isn't um, that a mistake? sorry isn't that a mistake Comparing yours yeah, to somebody else. Of course. Big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Massive. But you can't help it. It's like, it doesn't matter what career you're in, whether it's a creative industry or something completely different, you're always going to compare yourself, uh, which is a very unhealthy habit. But it's, I think the, the most important thing is focusing on what you're doing, just spe specifically you. And this is what we teach our writers as well is, just to focus on your work I mean avoid like the outside world of course like collaborate and you know take on the advice from from others but if you focus in on what you're doing then everything will become less stressful there's no comparison there's no they're doing this or they've got this yeah Join in. but what I feel is like how it is like two sides of a coin so uh, I feel I from 
from my perspective, it would be one is the readers and one is the writers. So the readers, I have been in so many, you know, situations where I'd be, oh, maybe I want to be intrigued. And sometimes I don't want to be intrigued at all. I'm just, I'd be reading the most boring stories. I'd just be like, I know this is boring, but I want to know what is there. Like if, if there is going to be some kind of inspiration, but that is one. And sometimes I'm just mostly 90%. Um, I'm a bad reader, but 90% I'm looking for something that is valuable and at the same time, something that I can take. So it is going to benefit me personally and professionally. Yeah. So this is one side, but on the other side, if I'm on the, I have a whole different notion if I'm writing something. So I want it to be as intriguing as possible. So I would make, like, um, I want this to be the best piece of art. That's what they say. Like, if you, yeah. that's the pressure. But this is something I'm giving to the world. And this would be something that I've treasured. I've worked on it. So this is what it is. So I will be making all, all my energy. I'll put it all into one. And I'll just be, like, trying to promote it all to everybody that I know. So, yeah. and so I would probably want to see that, like, like, from that perspective, when I'm reading, like, probably this is their best piece of work. But I am, that is again on my state of mind, as you said, it's again like that, but mostly I'm just looking for inspiration and I, I, there are very few pieces, unfortunately, that I find, depending on something that I'm looking for, it could be even something to do with what work I do, like even if it is, right. uh, you know, a, a small piece of work, and it could just be a couple of paragraphs, and if that's intriguing enough for me. Uh -huh. I just go with it and I'd say this is a masterpiece but probably for them it isn't like the one I was writing so there are so there's so many different perspectives according to me I feel anything that is written it's it's they have given a lot of work or sometimes it, they haven't just written it like from off of the head and it's still good so uh, however it benefits it's it's just a complicated game like that yeah. So you see, it's not that scary. You can just say, you know what I mean? It's good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I know. I just wanted to be careful. That's fine. Yeah. There's no filter on this podcast. <laughs> uh, you're going to hear a little cursing. A mm. bad buzz. Like shit, fat bollocks. <laughs> be ready. <laughs> here, is, here is one thing. Um, so I would like us to dive into the solutions. Mm. Now that we have all provided our perspective on the topic. I would like to kick it off with the solutions that I came up with. And then I would like to mention some solutions that other people came up with that I have no connection. We've all heard stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, so I my, didn't get it. Oh, you said solutions. So in my opinion, I have come up with um, certain ways of um, overcoming the writer's block. As I, as I was mentioning earlier, um, I've been a producer for a while, which is for a while. I don't know how many years, but I've been I've been a producer for a while, and I've produced many many songs, not just for myself, but for 